This video is a little different, and I would like to know your opinion of the format. We will always continue to examine important facets of our existence and its relationship to the Creator. However, this new format will be more of a Q&A, based on comments and questions within our community that I think are on the minds of many people these days. These will be shorter videos and are based strictly on my personal beliefs and the beliefs of the community. This will serve to expand our understanding of issues and concerns that I may not have covered or adequately clarified in my long-form videos. The graphics in these QAs will be general energy-related graphics to allow me to get the thoughts out in a more efficient manner. So as always, I'm anxious for your input, so comment, subscribe, and let's make this a better community. Don't forget to take a look at my store at thexpharmacist.com and the super thanks button in the three dots below the video if you want to help me out in the channel expenses. Every cent is greatly appreciated and empowers me to search and share the truth in this quest for understanding and evolution. So here's our first question. It's by Gray Champion East about the emergency broadcast system. Gray has been a contributing part of the community for several months now. I believe Gray is one of our younger members, but very awake and bright. Here you go. Chapter two. Off topic, but I am annoyed that just about every alt media channel is saying 10 days darkness EBS. Over at Kim Possible channel, she is calling BS. My first thought is in the impossibility of controlling every single network. Radio, for instance, goes out over the airwaves and many TV stations as well. Of course, mainstream has nothing on the subject, but is alt media fake news too? And how is Starlink going to be able to broadcast everywhere without using every tower? All in all, it would in effect be an internet kill switch, would it not? I don't care white hat or black hat, but I would hope nobody should have the right to effect a worldwide kill switch and listen to our version of the facts. Anyway, if someone could get to the bottom of this, I would think it would be you. Hi Gray, thank you for being so kind. First, let me say that I'm not familiar with Kim Possible, but this is what I can tell you. The 10 Days of Darkness has its origins in Q posts, which can be searched and accessed at QAlerts.net. I don't know how much you know about Q, but they posted cryptic half thoughts or phrases that are often a language of their own. There is a legend or key to abbreviations, etc., and you really have to spend time to fully benefit. Q is said to be a handful of people, and I believe that Q refers to them being of Q-level military clearance, which is a real thing. I did a video on it that I will link at the end and in the description. Q has been very accurate in their predictions, and Trump has indicated that Q is part of the entire disclosure effort with certain code words and gestures. Listen how often he says 17 and look for hand gestures that spell Q. I personally believe in the validity of Q. I also believe that the 10 days of darkness have been part of the plan all along. Having said that, plans change and so far things seem to be going smoothly, so I can't say with any certainty if the darkness will come, but it may be necessary from a logistics and safety standpoint when the truth is revealed. The effects of disclosure will be biblical. People will purify. So that you understand this is not a debate or the opinion of a few trying to force their perspective on others. This is a war. A war that has been going on for a very long time. Many have died in this war and many have fled in exile. We largely are unaware of the war that we have been engaged in that could have provided more widespread devastation than mankind can imagine, because the technology involved is beyond our understanding. The two armies of this war each have this technology and the ability to obliterate life on this planet. One side has already demonstrated the ability and malice to cause mass devastation. The other side has the ability but not the energetic constitution to use the technology to harm us. This is the eternal, biblical battle between good and evil, only with extraterrestrials, which most of us never considered. Regarding whether the EBS takeover can be done, 
I say absolutely yes. We have the capability of jamming transmissions, so that's not a problem. When we try to assess what is possible, we must look at possibilities beyond our disclosed known technologies. Much more is already possible and infinitely more is in our future. We have been lied to for a very long time. Direct energy weapons could take out the internet backbone networks in a heartbeat. Starlink, on the other hand, is satellite. Satellite phones or sat phones do not use cell phone towers. They communicate directly with satellites orbiting the Earth. As of December 8, 2024, Elon Musk has launched 7,546 Starlink satellites, with 6,869 currently in orbit and 6,822 operational, under his company SpaceX. He continues to launch 10 missions a month, each containing about 20 satellites, so that's 200 satellites a month. Currently, 13 of these satellites are equipped with direct-to-cell capabilities, completing the first shell of this specialized network. Also, his new phone is being marketed as including Starlink network. Regarding a kill switch of sorts, it is possible to take over all airways with emergency broadcast systems, EBS, through centralized control mechanisms. Governments or authorized agencies coordinate with broadcasters, satellite networks, and cable providers to interrupt regular programming. This is achieved via pre-installed systems that can override transmissions, ensuring emergency messages reach the public simultaneously across all platforms. That's how the system works. Regarding alt news or alternative news, of course some of it is fake. The evil ones have always controlled both sides of every narrative, so expect half of alt news to be controlled. It is typical for truthers to be bought when they get large enough. Some may not even know they've flipped. They are more concerned on where their bread is buttered and their content becomes subtly guided or controlled. If someone is highly motivated by money and profits, we must consider their true intentions. Not that making money is bad, but when it is used to distort the truth, it's a problem. The Dark Ones absolutely control a significant portion of alt news. This is a really big and important issue. Remember, they always control both sides, and even if they don't, they will try to buy or blackmail someone who is a threat to their narrative. One thing to keep in mind is that surreptitiously controlled media will have a lot of truth to gain your trust, and then there will be morsels of critical misinformation embedded within verifiable truths. I understand that this is scary that someone could take over our airwaves, but as with any technology, the purpose or intent is critical to whether I personally agree with it or not. The reality is that the world has already been taken over. Our airwaves have been clearly controlled worldwide. They can literally turn on a switch and shut your car off when you are driving it. They can surveil you through your televisions, computers, and phones. They can hear your conversations, and I absolutely know that they can even smell what's in your home. I know this because I was sailing with the guy who invented the sniff technology for use against explosives. He got a call from DEA, and they wanted to use his technology to identify drugs in people's homes. I remember that it really pissed him off that they were using his brainchild to intrude on people's privacy in such a way. This was about 17 years ago, to give you a time frame of what they are really doing. We have no privacy, and they can take our lives away from us if they want to. It's clear that the evil ones aren't going to voluntarily give up control. The Alliance is trying very hard to use white mail, giving controllers the opportunity to surrender. Some have, others haven't. So how do we fight this? How do we dismantle this system of control? How do we take back our freedom? For me, a couple of weeks of taking down the corrupted infrastructures is worth my freedom. I don't see another way it can be done, but I believe they are trying very hard to mitigate any adverse effects on our lives. So my point is that people and beings already have the ability to take the world down with many kill switches on nearly every infrastructure that we rely upon. Q told us many times that it had to be done this way. So that's our first Q&A. Let me know what you think. Do you find this format valuable? Until next time, 
This drama is certainly heating up with our leaders and the media, isn't it?